Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo and we're in a new space today. This is actually our lab where we do a lot of the prototyping and planning work for our Honeycomb Arts um, division of Honeycomb Community. So Honeycomb Manila is a studio. You can follow at Honeycomb Manila to learn about the stuff here. Um, you can follow me personally. I'm at Keo Kosha to learn about all the stuff that I'm into and I'm doing. And then follow at honeycomb.arts to learn about our public arts projects. Let's talk about this bag I have in front of me. This is what we're going to be unbagging and then unboxing today. We picked this up two days ago at the official launch. Let's dive right into it and see what's inside this bag. On the bag itself, we have the Jordan Jumpman logo and the Titan logo. Something very exciting. We've seen stuff from Jordan and Titan before, but nothing quite like this. And on the other side of the bag, we have this other logo. So it's a basketball with the Titan uh, lightning kind of stylized into kind of like this happy, bouncy, uh, tropical flavor. And then the palm tree. And this particular one is signed by the artist, by the designer of the sneaker. Uh, and it says, Chi Gibbs. And get into the rest of the bag. This. Oof. Look at that box. Now the box is something special. It's something unusual and particular for this release. It says Women's Air Jordan 2 Retro Low SP in the Sale and Safety Orange Dash Chlorophyll colorway. This is in a size 5.5 women's or a size 4 men. You can see the, the numbers here. And this is one of three Air Jordan 2 Retro collaborations that come out on the same day. So they all came out two days ago. There's a globe on the front uh, of the box because this is a global project because there's South Africa, Detroit uh, for America and the Philippines. Open it up and there's some nice spot lamination yet again uh, of the globe lines of the longitude and latitude Air Jordan, the Jumpman logo right there. Some special paper here showing women playing basketball and uh, I think this is Michael Jordan in green. Open up the box, open up the paper. And this is the first ever lifestyle collaboration between Titan and Jordan Brand. Now we have had other collaboration shoes come out between Titan and Nike, the LeBron Ayimat line. Uh, we've had three of those now. We had the Jordan 36 last year, um, and that was a 36 and they had a 23. But the Jordan 2 goes all the way back to 1986. So this is clearly a lifestyle retro, clearly a lifestyle shoe. And it's the first one, um, at least I can remember, that is a collaboration between Nike Jordan and a Filipino store, like a Filipino brand. So let's talk first about the details of the sneaker, the quality of the sneaker, and let's get into the story a little bit. Starting with the outsole, we have a sail colored outsole with some featured gum rubber down there in the forefoot section. Nike on the back, and you can see the number four here on the outsole. That's a classic feature. All of the outsoles in retro sneakers uh, would have that. And then the back, the heel portion is in a bright orange. Flipping to the side, you see the midsole has a brown speckle that goes all around that sail off white color. A nice little touch that brings a little bit more excitement to this sneaker. Moving up from the midsole, you have the mudguard and the mudguard is done in a green corduroy. It's one of the main colors of this sneaker and you'll see that green over and over. In Jordan lingo, we call that chlorophyll. The chlorophyll moves all around the toe and then we see it again here on the piping that goes around the upper section of the foxing area and then around here on the back. It goes all the way around on that heel counter. Now the heel counter was not a popular uh, feature to expose when the Jordan 2 came out. It's one of the first sneakers that actually featured this exposed external heel counter um, and it's done in all rubber in this sneaker. Moving up from that rubber heel counter which is off-white and green we have some very nice high quality suede. Um, it's not a, a very hairy suede, it's like a very uh, thin haired suede. I've never seen a collaboration sneaker with this nice uh, materials. I'm very impressed with this. 
turquoise eyelet up here and turquoise eye stays for uh, the main portion of the lacing system and then in that lacing system goes into another sail panel of leather and the leather quality is really nice i think you can see that on the camera just how buttery that leather is laces are in sale but you also get two other laces that come with the sneaker and at the event we got to see a number of people relace it in with other colors and changing the laces on this particular sneaker really does change the vibe of the entire shoe moving up from the laces the tongue is in leather right and this is a premium feature that um, was kind of iconic or kind of a part of the ethos when they were designing the Jordan 2 to begin with. The whole point was to have an elevated, more luxurious sneaker. Unfortunately, the Jordan 2 didn't get all of its time in the limelight. Michael Jordan broke his foot, so he only wore it for a few games. Then he was out of play. All right, moving up from that premium leather tongue, we get to that same suede up here and here on the top of the tongue. And you can really see how thick it is and that they didn't cut corners when choosing materials for this sneaker. The logo is done in a rubber, bright orange, and the lining is also done in a bright orange. On this left shoe, we have the hang tag, also made of thick leather. It says Air Jordan on one side, um, Air Jordan International Flight Club. So that's, that's kind of the theme of the three sneakers that came out. We talked about the two earlier. And then on the reverse side, you have the stamp of that palm tree logo once again. Between the left and the right pair, again, you have the laces hung on the right, uh, on the right shoe. But on the inside, there is a custom insole. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. This is gonna get us a little bit deeper into the storytelling of this sneaker. What? This is the best insole I've ever held. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I bought this sneaker. <laughs> my wife knows I'm a dork about insoles. Sometimes I even feel that Nike gets it wrong. And I take out all of my insoles and I sort them to my different shoes to match up which insole actually gives the best response per sneaker. Suffice to say, what I'm trying to say is that these are so nice this black dream cell insole i really wonder how it's gonna bottom out how it's gonna feel over time but right now in hand what an amazing insole i need a jordan too so these are my wife's um right after this she's gonna put them on or during this uh during this video she's gonna put them on and she's gonna tell us how they fit whether or not they fit true to size but first, let's dive into the design because this is really a special part of what Chi Loizaga Gibbs brought to the project. She's a designer of the sneaker and the sneaker is inspired by her grandfather, a man by the name of Kaloy Loizaga, who is probably one of the most important men in Philippine basketball ever. So um, Nico Ramos, who is, who is a partner at Titan and he hosted the event that we were at was saying like some people don't realize why basketball or people are always talking about why people care so much about basketball why filipinos think that they can be good at this even though we're small even though we're um we're not tall people and it's because kaloy loizaga did it he went to the world championships and he was the third you know uh, the third top scorer of that year he has all these medals and they had them on display at the event so what a beautiful tribute for Chi to be able to make for her grandfather. So the shoe is done up in the colors of the jerseys, of the uniforms that he played in. It's a tribute to him. It's a tribute to the retro style um, of his era. Chi and her sister and her partner uh, over at uh, Nian Island, the three of them got together on a panel and they were able to speak a bit about, you know, being a Filipino uh, female creative uh, in 2022. They had some other panels with other street collectors and it really was a, a great moment for the culture here in the Philippines for basketball lifestyle. Um, and that's what I think is really special about this, uh, about this collaboration sneaker is that it's not just about basketball, it's not just about what's on the court, but for the first time we're seeing a fantastic sneaker like this deal with the Filipino life off the court. Um, and how we have a legacy, we have a history here 
of basketball of greatness. And this really is day one, like a fresh start because we've never had a collaboration sneaker. That was a lifestyle shoe. And one of the things that I've loved to see, um, and my wife Nico was telling me about it as well, was that she, um, the designer, was sharing on Instagram that all these people were messaging her and reaching out that they were getting their first Jordans. Yeah, a lot of women were saying that they were getting their first Jordans, women here in the Philippines, um, who had never bought sn these sneakers before, but were fans of Chi and fans of Neon Island, which is her which is her apparel brand. She's a designer for that brand. And that's what makes a great collaboration, right? That it's not just one plus one. I always tell our clients, it's gotta be one plus one equals three, at least, right? And a great collaboration like this is one plus one plus one, because it's uh, Jordan brand, Titan, and Titan integrating in um, Chi as the designer making, I think, a 10 out of 10 sneaker. Now, Nika has tried on the sneakers as of right now, and we are happy to report that they do fit true to size. She is a women's size 5.5 in men's at size 4. If you want to buy them and you are a man, they do come in extended sizing. In fact, all three shoes from this worldwide um, uh, international flight club uh, pack do come in extended sizes. In fact, I went on the Titan app and I checked right away what sizes were available and they go all the way down to size uh, 3.5 men's, I think, which is women's five, all the way up to men's size 15, which is massive. If you can get a pair, do get a pair. Um, I really want one for myself, but I decided this one's for Nika, let her have this one. Um, some guys think that if it's a women's release, then let the women have it. I'm not of that frame of mind. I think that if you like a sneaker and it fits you and it speaks to you, then go for it. I think it's a really um, good example of how a designer is able to take something, um, take a feeling and distill it into a design without having to spoon feed um, the consumer, right? And be like, oh, here is some stars and a flag and everything is red, blue, yellow, white, right? <laughs> like, like we're done guys, enough jeepneys, enough with the jeepneys. Uh, and here you have this beautiful example. I was so happy that event had no jeepneys anywhere. Um, for the LeBron Titan release, uh, we brought along lattes. We made lattes for everyone who was there. And we um, we had a signature design where we put the Titan logo and the Nike sneakers app logo on the top of the uh, of the lattes. And people really loved that, responded well to it. And they gave us a challenge. Um, could you do it with a, with a shake, with a slushy uh, or a smoothie? So we did it. We made um, smoothies to match this pair of sneakers. The... Um, the Green was a matcha. I really wanted to do an avocado, make it really Filipino, but it's very difficult to do. And then we did a peach mango to do to represent the orange. Uh, we thought of doing orange, but we thought it's Filipino. It's got to be mango. And uh, so we put the Jordan logo, the Nike Sneakers app logo, and of course the Titan logo on top of that latte. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say this is the best Philippine collaboration I've ever seen. And it's got to be because of that understanding that she has brought to the product design, uh, understanding the audience, bring in a new audience, um, having something that you can wear day to day as, as, as a lifestyle sneaker. Um, so kudos to Chi Loisaki Gibbs. You killed it, girl. And with that, that brings us to the end of our review and in-depth look at this sneaker, the Air Jordan 2 Retro Low, um, a collaboration between a sneaker and streetwear store, Titan, basketball culture store, Titan, and Jordan brand designed by Chi Loizaga Gibbs. Congratulations to all of you. Great work. I think that this is an amazing pair of sneakers. If you can pick it up, pick it up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have this sneaker, why don't you share your experience with it? Is it your first pair of Jordans? I really want to know that because that is fantastic to me. All right, I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health. Peace.